Mr. President, I'd ask that my next statement um, appear separately in the record from the one that I just gave. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I rise to speak on Coburn Amendment number 2353, and I want to be the first to say how much I appreciate my colleague from Oklahoma's efforts at deficit reduction. In fact, we're currently working together to promote a comprehensive approach to deficit reduction, and I deeply appreciate his leadership, which in many ways has been unparalleled on this issue. Uh, however, I, I have to oppose this particular amendment, and I understand we're likely to consider the amendment this afternoon. I would urge my colleagues to oppose the amendment by supporting the motion to table. This amendment will repeal the popular Environmental Quality Incentives Program, EQIP, and the Conservation Stewardship Program, CSP. Both are critical programs authorized under the conservation title of the Farm Bill. In Colorado, I have heard time and time again from our farmers and our ranchers how critical these programs are to holding on to their family farms. EQIP, for example, is on the front lines of agricultural production. It helps farmers ensure that their operations contribute to clean water and clean air in our rural communities. It proactively and successfully addresses new and emerging resource issues to avert the need for regulation. To put our farmers and ranchers in a place where they have less regulation, not more, because of the work they're doing on the ground to conserve their land. Let me just give you one example from Colorado. Equip resources have been used to ensure that the sage grouse stays off the endangered species list, a listing that would threaten ranchers all across the West. That's a result of the great work that's been done by farmers and ranchers in Colorado with the EQIP program. By providing resources to mark barbed wire fences, making them more visible to the threatened bird, EQIP is working for farmers and ranchers, and it is working well. It's the flagship of voluntary incentive-based conservation programs, which is a direction I think we should be heading in and a direction we head in this Farm Bill. Both EQIP and CSP provide quantifiable benefits that, are ref that reflect the varied conservation challenges challenges all across our country. So, Mr. President, I strongly support this new conservation title as we reported out of committee in a bipartisan vote. And as I've mentioned and as has been discussed on this bill, this bill is also remarkable for the cuts that it makes. $23.6 billion. To my knowledge, there is not any committee, any other committee in the Senate or any committee in the House of Representatives that's actually reached bipartisan agreement, and in this case, bipartisan consensus on budget cuts, which is the way we should be doing business around here because it's what the American people and the people in Colorado expect from us, particularly on these difficult questions around our deficit and our debt. And $6.4 billion of those cuts, $6.4 billion of those $23 billion came from the conservation title, not all of which I liked. But we made difficult compromises at the committee level. And we ought not make further cuts on the floor, especially to programs that make smart and effective investments in our rural communities. So I will oppose for those reasons uh, amendment number 2353 and support the motion to table. And I'd urge my colleagues from both sides of the aisle to do the same. Finally, I'd like to say um, thank you to the chairman of this committee, to the ranking member, uh, Pat Roberts uh, and to the chair, Debbie Stabenow, for their extraordinary bipartisan work in getting the bill this far. And it is uh, my fervent hope that leadership on both sides reaches an agreement uh, on these amendments so that uh, we can move forward and do the right thing uh, for our farmers and ranchers back home in Colorado. And with that, I see my colleague from Connecticut, Senator Lieberman. And Mr. President, thank you for your patience. I yield.